Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and welcome to another of my five Victorian novels about series. Today I wanted to tell you about five Victorian novels that all look at non-nuclear families. So Victorian literature um, is full of families and interesting depiction of families. But one thing I really like about Victorian literature is that Victorian literature contain a lot of non-nuclear families, a lot of found families and families with unusual family structures. So I thought I would talk today about a few books with more unusual family setups that look at family um, in a really interesting way. The first one I wanted to mention is Ruth. Ruth is a wonderful Victorian book by Elizabeth Gaskell, one that I love. And it tells the story of a young woman called Ruth. I can't tell you too much about the setup um, without spoiling it but um, Ruth ends up through various circumstances living with an elderly brother and sister who end up kind of taking her in and she um, becomes kind of part of their family and the way this book looks at Ruth's relationship with this brother and sister um, and how she kind of becomes part of their family and her relationship with the household including the other members of the household um, including one of the servants and how they kind of form this family is something that I love about Ruth so much I think it's really really powerful to look at this unusual family structure and how wonderfully it works and how much like healthier it is in some ways than some of the nuclear families within the story. I love this book a lot. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful read and one that I would absolutely recommend, especially if you're interested in um, more unusual families in Victorian literature. I have two Dickens books on this list because Dickens's novels are full of unusual family structures. Um, at first I want to mention Bleak House, which is a novel I love very, very much. Um, there are lots of interesting families in Bleak House, but the kind of central setup of Bleak House follows a young woman called Esther Summerson who is taken in um, as a companion to a young woman called Ada Clare. Ada Clare and her cousin Richard Carson are um, kind of in their late teens and they have been wards of chancery all their lives because they're orphans but they are potentially due to inherit lots of money if a chancery suit gets settled and they are taken in to live with their distant cousin John Jarndyce um, to live with him for him to look after them um, but he also in employs Esther to be a companion to Ada because it wouldn't be appropriate for um, a young unmarried woman like Ada to live in the household with Mr. John Lewis and no one else. Very complicated family setup as you can see um, but these four people form a sort of family I suppose and I like the way that this book looks a lot at their relationships and the interesting structure that is Bleak House um, which is the house where they live. I really like the way that Mr. Jarndyce acts as surrogate parents to Ada and Richard especially, especially to Richard. I think the relationship between Mr. Jarndyce and Richard looking at that as a pseudo father and son relationship is really, really interesting. Esther and Ada feel a little bit like sisters, but at the same time, these people aren't related and the way this book looks at how they are and aren't a family um, and how that is complicated and how that changes the relationships between them is something that I love. You know, Richard, I think, feels towards Mr. Jarndyce in many ways like he is his father, but the fact that he's not his father means he doesn't feel that he owes him quite the same things or that he kind of resents Mr. Jarndyce's interference in many ways because he's his guardian, but he's not his father. And the way this book looks at this complicated family and the way it looks at family in general is something that I really, really love. There's also a lot of really interesting exploration of family in Dombey and Son. And um, there are a couple of different kind of interesting um, non-nuclear family setups I like. Um, the book mostly focuses on the relationship between a young girl called Florence and her father, Mr. Dombey. But Florence um, later has a stepmother and her relationship with her stepmother is really, really interestingly done um, and really, really fascinating to look at. And we also in this book follow a young boy called Walter who has been brought up by his uncle and also part partly by his uncle's best friend, Captain Cuttle, um, who spends a lot of time in his uncle's house um, and who is a very, very, very close friend of his uncle. Who, and they've sort of raised Walter together in some way. Both Captain Cuttle and um, Uncle Gills both feel really fatherly towards Walter. And that family setup, I think, is done really, really well and is really, really interesting. I love Dombey and Son a lot. It is one of my favourite books of all time. And the way it looks at family and kind of different family structures is really, really fascinating and makes it absolutely worth a read as well as everything else in this book it is so so great 
I also wanted to mention John Halifax Gentleman by Dinah Mullet Creek, which is another book that looks at interesting family setups. This book is told from the perspective of a young man called Phineas, but it's mostly about Phineas's friend John Halifax, who he meets early on in the book, um, and who Phineas and his father kind of take into their household and try to train up um, to give him a career. They find him when he is penniless, um, and the book is in many ways about kind of John Halifax finding a place for himself in the world, all the while Phineas, his best friend, is kind of looking on, telling his story, um, and kind of becomes part of John Halifax's family in many ways later. I like the relationship between um, Phineas and John very very much and also the relationship that Phineas has with um, other people later on in the book and the way this book looks at family and how kind of family ties and non-family ties tie all these characters together is really really wonderful it is such a fantastic book that I highly highly recommend Finally, I wanted to mention Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. This is definitely a book about dysfunctional families, but I love the way it looks at family and complicated families. One bit of Wuthering Heights I really enjoy is at the beginning when um, our first narrator, Lockwood, turns up at Wuthering Heights and is trying to work out what on earth the family relationships are between the three people who are sat around the table with him, because he just can't work out how on earth they are related to each other. And I feel like that is an interesting kind of demonstration of how complicated family is in Wuthering Heights because there are all these families who are tied to each other in complicated ways. Heathcliff is sort of adopted into the Earnshaw family at the beginning of the novel but he isn't actually biologically related to them. His relationship with Kathy is very very complicated by the fact that they are sort of foster brother and sister but also they're not related and later Hareton is a sort of surrogate son to Heathcliff though again they're not related and there's a lot of kind of non-biological family ties between these characters that kind of complicates and interact with the biological family ties in a really, really interesting way. I love the way this book looks at family. I love the complicated family setups within it. And I just think it is such a wonderful read. So another one I'd recommend if you're interested in more unusual family structures within Victorian literature. And that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I hope that you will find some of these books interesting. Please do let me know down in the comments if you've read any Victorian books that you think have really interesting family structures in. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.